Welcome to the Dreadway demo, which immediately goes into a rather dark kind of area, just so we know that, unlike Cooking Companions, this game is not being very subtle about the fact that it's probably not very happy for everyone. So, let me just quick check out the options, and then we'll go on with the demo. The game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue? Considering I am more likely to disturb other people than to be disturbed? Sure. Have you played Cooking Companions before? I actually have. I also have uh, the two streams where I played through the first game as the first playthrough and through the new, uh, new game plus. Uh, I actually have those stream videos, I just never got around to editing them down a little bit and putting them up on my uh, YouTube channel, so I have. You guys just haven't seen me play it yet. <coughs> Someone's dying. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor, can you hear them? No. I don't remember their names. Didn't they die of natural causes? It depends on Gregor. Drowning. You cough, spraying potato in a fine mist. At least you're awake now. Sleepwalking in. Probably a horrific sight for bystanders. You ask potato where you are. Northwest from the cabin. You ask potato about the note on the wall. What note? Dearest... The name is smudged out. I know you're still upset about Ivan. I'm asking the impossible, but please, forgive me and let's end this madness. We're different. To lose track of time. To let feuds rot inside of us, undying, while the rest of the world moves on. This isn't healthy. It took me ages to learn this. I'm asking you, please, to let this one die. Sincerely, the name's illegible. We need to repay him for Ivan. Remember? Not really. I want to say this note was in the first game, but I could also be wrong. It's been at least a year since I played that game. Maybe get a nice meal there too. Patience. I'm sure he'll have guests as well. I have a surprise for you when we get there. You're going to love it. I promise. Welcome to my mansion. It's in dire need of repairs, but I think you'll find that certain rooms are furnished and accommodating. I'd like to introduce you to my business acquaintance, Renata. Nice to meet you. Your name was? It's... Uh, don't mind her, Renata. She's exhausted from traveling earlier. Isn't that right? Yeah, my headache is pounding. We'll get that treated immediately by our on-staff doctor, Dimitri. I think we have some medication that can help with that. Are you thirsty? You nod. Here's a cup of water. Try to stay hydrated. You quickly gulp down the water, feeling a little tickle in the back of your throat. Thank you. You're welcome. 
I'm sure there was not a hair in that water at all. And last but certainly not least, the world's biggest Sandman fan, Gisela. She's also a great bodyguard. <laughs> nice to meet you. Sandman. Like the children's show? Hey! Kids and adults love that show. When the show is over, it's time for bed! You have a bodyguard. Best security in the world. When your investment's mature enough, you'll find that the death threats start pouring in. Who would want you dead? Old business partners. Past lovers. I've been around long enough to keep making enemies. Don't worry. As long as I'm here, you're safe. We had someone break in last month. Scared everyone here. Gisela fractured his skull, then beat him to death as he tried to crawl away. Why didn't you wait for the police? Don't you remember the boat ride earlier? This mansion is on an island. No way for anyone to reach us in time. That's why you fracture the skull and then keep them restrained in a chair until the police arrives. Duh! I... Ah, impeccable timing, Dimitri. Take one of these in the morning with some food. It will help the headache. Or I could just drink more water and lie down. Depending on the cause of the headache, you don't need to take medication. Thank you. Have you experienced any negative symptoms in arriving? Nausea? Vomiting? They didn't puke the entire ride over. Those waters are awful this time of the year. That's a miracle. No, I think I'm fine. If you notice anything different or unpleasant, please don't hesitate to tell one of us. Thank you, Dimitri. Best doctor in the business. Please make yourself at home. We are delighted to have you here. My apologies. There's a phone upstairs that will ring until you pick up the receiver. I think most phones do that. Can you do me a favor and pick it up? Sure. Thank you. Please don't mind the trash and, uh, holes up there. I've probably seen messier. <laughs> you head upstairs to check out the phone. Also, I just want to mention something. In the first game, you didn't really have pronouns a whole lot, but I think it was sort of indicated that you were rather an old man. Here, you seem to be getting female pronouns, so I'm thinking we are playing as Karin. Perhaps. But I'm not too sure, given the various endings in the first game, and none of them really indicated that Karen took over, so to speak. The ringing echoes down the hallway. Oh. There it is. Who would be calling at this hour? I just want to say I love those rotary phones. I just really love the sound of uh, turning the dial and just clicking back into place. Answer it. Yeah, sure. Seven days. Wrong number? You head back to the foyer. Who the hell are you? You tell him. That's so. I'm Maximilian. Nice to meet you. Max who quacks. Nice to meet you. It's Maximilian! I'm not calling a talking duck Maximilian. Let's go with Max then. How can you talk? That's a secret. Besides, the others won't believe you if you tell them. I've lived here for quite some time. And you know what? I am 
sick of it! I just want to leave this mansion and go somewhere warm. You ask what he, why he doesn't just fly off the island. What a dumb suggestion! Did you bump your head earlier? Kurt would annihilate me! You're implying that if I told them that there was a duck quacking at me here, that they wouldn't believe me. Implying that you are invisible to a certain degree. But then you're also saying Kurt would annihilate you, implying that they do know that you exist? You make no sense. He'd probably get his bodyguard to lock me in a birdcage. Or something worse. If you want to be useful, just open the box under my feet. It's been ages, so I can't remember how to unlock it. Just get it open. You ask why you'd help a desperate talking duck. Because I have a cool gift for you. May this fortify our new friendship. You were gifted a sturdy rope. Add it to your inventory. Sure. You could always use rope for something. Someone once told me that rope could keep witches at bay. But that's a rumor! In order to ward off witches, I let this rope boil in a pot. With everything! Garlic, salts, forest herbs, wool, bat! Stunk up the cellar for months! The sturdy rope feels absolutely revolting. Pieces of burnt garlic cling to it. Ugh, smells bitter. This reeks. I thought you just boiled it. Seared in a pool of butter afterwards. You're looking at burnt garlic. I'm looking at a five-star rope. Why would I accept this? And why would I listen to a talking duck? Because I'm the smartest... creature... in this mansion. If you help me out, I'll tell you how to escape to safety. Why would I need to escape to safety? You'll see. The quicker you help me, the quicker you can leave this place. Later! You wonder if what we just saw was real. Talking ducks shouldn't be brought up to anyone. You head back to the foyer. Thanks for taking care of that. Who called? Nobody. Wrong number? Hopefully someone isn't tapping the phone here. <laughs> Again, welcome. Please don't hesitate to make yourself at home. Now if you excuse me, need to take care of some paperwork. Later. Kurt goes up the stairs, closing the door to his office. He's such an amazing person. Pays on time, too. What do you think of him? So far he seems nice, but I am someone who is extremely cynical and always think the nicest are the most messed up. But I'll be polite. Seems nice. In more ways than one. I'm sorry, everyone. How did you meet him? I can't remember the exact date, but he asked me to get his finances in order. He needed an assistant to help him treat patients that he brought here. I was carrying two gigantic trees around while working at a lumberyard. He came out of nowhere and asked to see how I could handle an axe. So you use an axe to protect him? Hell no! Axe is the backup. Fists are the primary. Gisela is highly skilled at close combat quarter combat. If we had a morgue here, I'd have a disgusting collection of corpses to show you. Are intruders really that big of a deal here? You'd be surprised to come snooping around the mansion. How many people want him dead? He ticked off a few people to afford a mansion this big. Please, enjoy your stay here. Let us know if you have any questions, okay? Now, if you excuse me, I need to take care of some things. In his office. Because he's so, uh, so nice. Later! The three head off in different directions, leaving you alone. Who 
do you want to talk to? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I enjoy making jokes. I'm gonna follow Dimitri. Where did he go? Oh, I hope I don't walk in on anything. In the upstairs hallway! You head upstairs. Hey! Wanted to thank you again for coming with us. No problem. Uh, it's Dimitri. Dimitri, uh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry, not a very common name here. <laughs> How long have you been a doctor? Where are you from? What's on my paperwork, doctor? How old are you? I don't have any other questions. Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna ask him where he's from. My parents came from the east. That's cool. I wish they were still around to see how far I've come. Oh well. No coming back once you're cremated. Uh, let's see, about 12 years? Feels like yesterday! I'm impressed? Why? Because I look like I'm... Oh, you were giving me a compliment? Duh. This is embarrassing. Let's talk about something else. What's on my paperwork? Let's see here, uh... Healthy lungs, good eyesight... Oh, my... This is a little disturbing. What's wrong? It's... uh... Your heart rate seems to be fast for your age. You don't know about that? You shake your head. Uh, that's bad. I would limit any physical activity, like jogging or hiking. Avoid horror books as well. Wouldn't want your heart beating out of your chest. Is there any way to improve it? Eating healthier and light exercise? Please let me know if you feel faint. Alright? Sure. I know. Health does just pop up from time to time, but we at least caught this early. We'll work on both of those things during your stay here. You nod in agreement. That's the spirit. It looks like Dimitri will remember that. Alright, I'll ask the question that he's probably heard most of his life. I'm 30. Get in line, whippersnapper, I'm older. How old did you think I was? Uh... It's fine. I get it all the time. Thankfully, I don't have to see any new patients here. So, no awkward questions or waste of time with small talk. Just helping Kurt with research. I'll tell you if I got any symptoms later. Sounds good. Great, thanks for checking in on me. If you experience any sort of illness, please seek me out first. No use worrying Kurt and the others. Oh, come with me quick. I want to give you something. Let's see. I thought it was in the store. Um... I think you are behind yourself. Ah, here it is. Uh, I think the sprite in the front is supposed to be gone. You got the doctor's note. Add it to your inventory. Certainly. Can you give that to Renata? You nod. Thank you. You head over to Renata. I was going to check the doctor's note, but since it's apparently not about me, I'm not going to read it. Hello. Give Renata the note. I was asked to. 
got something for you. Hmm. Do you know what this is? I didn't open it. I'm just messing with you. This is a list of foods to purchase. Pasta with tomato sauce, carrot soup. Dimitri only likes mild food. Nothing spicy. His loss. More for us. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get this in. Try to convince him to try foods with a little more variety later, okay? I don't think I can cure a picky eater. Just make fun of him. That <laughs> usually does the trick. Sounds like what's coming from the foyer. Let's go check it out. Finally, this is the spot. It's time to punish him for what he did to you with Ivan. You grip the knife so tight till your hands begin to shake. Once everything is finished, we'll have a big meal to celebrate. I don't need to tell you how difficult this will be. Do not disappoint me. I have a surprise for you. Close your eye. Spooky. John Pets. Speak up. Always fear onion is near. Like Cornbread used to say, I'm dying to meet you. Always wary raspberry. Are they... real? Listen, I know this might be a little bit of a shock, but there's been a few changes to the group. I am now leader of the Chompettes. Uh, Cabbage's eyes kind of stopped glowing. You ask Potato how that happened. We had an election. Cabbage versus me. He... He threatened us with the knife. It terrifies me. I'm sorry. It was three votes against two. I'm, I'm sorry, Chompettes. As leaders of the Chompettes, it's important we all help her out of the mansion. The games are over. It's time to slaughter everyone that has wronged us. You ask Cabbage what she thinks about this direction. The leader dictates our position with you. You ask Potato when the next election is. The next election occurs. One thousand years from now. Well, I'm probably Baba Yaga or something like that, so I can deal with that. It'll be a miracle if you survive that long. One thousand years? Your brain has become softer and more full of holes. Like a molding sponge, it's important that it absorbs the right kind of material. I've brought them back to help guide you in the right direction. You ask how? That's my secret. I'll make you a deal. If you kill everyone in the mansion, I'll get them to leave you alone again. But if you fail, we'll get to play ghosts in the graveyard. Forever! Your stench will reach new heights! We can memorize the thousands of Cornbread's pun jokes. No! Is that a fair trade? You nod. Excellent. He's as bony as you, so 
this should be an easy one. Let's frighten them first. That usually leads to mistakes being made. Once they're in a state of panic, we can pick them off one by one until only he's left. You nod. I'm coming for you, Dimitri. No use going after him right away. He'll tell us where it is. Just need to take care of the others. She smashed the front door locks. Probably using her bare hands. She's going to kill all of us. She broke through multiple deadbolts. The day has finally come. I'm ready. Let her in here. No, that isn't going to work. I feel like I'm out of the loop here. Who is she? She goes by many names. Witch, crone, bony knees. Those aren't names, those are insults. And very immature ones, might I say. But her real name is Baba Yaga. Many countries refuse to publish stories about her out of fear of retribution, but she's very real. An ancient witch with an unsatiable appetite. She used to just lure victims to her cabin, ultimately devouring them. But something changed. Decades ago, she left her cabin, like the old days, slaughtering everyone in her path. The first city she terrorized was Zakopan in Poland. It was... Horrific. She broke down doors with her bare hands, clawing her way inside homes and businesses. It rained for a hundred days after she arrived at the city, turning the city into an unhabitable wetland. Any survivors that attempted to escape were hunted down. Only a handful of people remained by the end. The massacre is known as the Summer of Rain in Poland. I hid a few weapons around the house in case something like this happened. There's some useful items in the upstairs hallway. I think you should check there first. Afterwards, we can decide on which weapons to find. Just in case you need to open something, there's a bolt cutter. I mean, that's already a weapon that you're handing me? Why do you have a belt cutter loaded lying around? Not a fan of chains or locks. Smart. Uh... Please avoid cutting any padlocks you find on doors. You hiding something? Well, he's in a position to make enemies, so obviously he must be hiding something. No. I can't remember the location, but I wouldn't want you wandering into areas that could be deadly. Deadly? Areas with holes, toxic gases, crumbling ceilings. I'm pretty sure a door with a padlock on it would not be able to really contain toxic gases. Sounds like you really need to repair this dump. You're right. Kurt, I think we should fortify the mansion. That's a great idea, Grisella. Gizella, sorry. I'm not sure. Gizella? Grisella? I'm not sure. Pretty sure there was an R earlier. Can you help her with that? Of course. Thank you. Gizella. Gizella, Gizella. I'm not sure. It's like Mariah and Maria and Karen and Karen. Take a ride at the end of the hallway. Uh, can you answer that first? On it. There it is. Wrong number? Hey! There's a talking rabbit too? Yes! My name is Clover. I take it you've met my associate, Max? Well-intentioned, but unfortunately his focus is misguided. 
You ask Clover what she means. He seems eager to jump at every request Kurt makes. I'm sorry to say, but you have no choice of chance of defeating Baba Yaga. She may be ancient, but even working together, we will never be able to stop her wrath. Sorry to bring you the bad news. However, we are only standing in the way of her goal. Kurt! Which means... It means she'll spare us. If Kurt is killed. Hmm. Consider it done. Excellent! You'll need to first get rid of Gisela, which is no easy task. I'd recommend using her as bait for Baba Yaga, or waiting for a good opportunity. Be warned, even weapons like guns won't work against her. She's far too fast. You'll be disarmed immediately. Yeah, but even if I manage to at least shoot her once in the kidney, I'm pretty sure I can get her. Just because guns aren't that useful doesn't mean that any wounds considered by them won't cause damage. It might take longer for her to bleed out, but still. Once Gisela's gone, you can hide while Baba Yaga finishes him. Or take care of Kurt yourself. I'll tell you how to get off this island if you help me out. Understood? Wonderful! Sorry to drop this on you so quickly. As you'll find out soon, most people that make it to this mansion don't live long. So I wanted to make my case early. Here, take this. Hmm. Gisela is going to wonder where you are. Go help her for now. Later! It might be best to not tell anyone about the talking duck and rabbit. You head over to Gazella. Hey! I figure nailing up the windows will prevent her from getting in easier. But I'm almost out of nails. There was a bucket in the cellar. Can you go grab some? Yeah, sure. Awesome! Don't get lost, okay? I won't. must be around here somewhere. Ah! There they are. Sounds like a fuse was blown. I would very much like to look at my inventory. Like, maybe there's flavor text for all of that stuff. Welcome back! Got something for me? Click on the bucket to give the nails to Gazella. Ah, wonderful. Ooh, I have a heart. You hold the pendant up to Gazella. Nothing happened! Is this a gift for me? How sweet. Can't wear this though. You keep it. Why not? Makes it easier for someone to strangle me to death. I need that oxygen to keep the muscles working at peak performance. She has a point. Right clicking doesn't do anything with them, so I thought maybe I can otherwise get um, flavor text to appear. Lifesaver! Thank you! Looks like Gisela will remember that. No problem, but I think the fuse box is having issues. We'll fix that later. Thanks for letting me know. Of course. I found this in the same spot as the hammer. Do you want it? You added the wrench to your inventory. I'm going to finish with these boards. You can meet up with the others. She's here. I can
can hear her creeping around. I'll stay here in the foyer with Gisela. There are some weapons hidden in the cellar and upstairs. Please assist either Renato or Dimitri in finding one. Who do you want to go with? Dimitri, I'm coming for you. I was hoping you'd help me out. Basement is pretty scary, but I know it won't be with you. You should never rely on me. Let's see, I think he hit something behind one of these crates. Rats! Kurt must have moved it. Or Baba Yaga took it. You think so? If she gets rid of all the weapons, we have nothing to defend ourselves with. Ugh. At least Gazella doesn't need any weapons. <laughs> you think she'll win against an ancient witch? I... Uh, I guess I've never met an ancient witch before. <laughs> Sounds like it was coming from upstairs. Let's go check it out. Kurt! What was that noise? I... Dimitri... Renata is dead. What? We found some blood up near the bedroom, but can't find her corpse. Well, as we all know, that means that she's not dead. She must have stabbed her and hid the body somewhere. Besides the staircase, are there any exits she could have used? Yes. This place is falling apart, so there's unintended ways to move throughout it. So, she could be lurking anywhere. When Baba Yaga's around, it's important to act quickly and wisely. Being indecisive may result in your death, or something far worse. I'm gonna be turned into a vegetable chompette! There's something moving down there. Gisela? Jump! Boo. A cold wind blows up through the hole. Something is approaching. <laughs> She's messing, messing with the power. I think there's a spare fuse in the closet upstairs. Can you go grab it? You'll need it to repair the fuse box. Dimitri, you coming with? Uh, uh, I can't afford to lose him. And Gisela is my only protection. Try your best and yell down if she shows up, okay? Don't worry, I'll run up if I hear you. If I were Baba Yaga, I would be slitting the throat so they can't yell out. Besides, she's slow. You could not run an elderly woman, right? A regular one, maybe, but an ancient, supernatural being? Probably not. Please ignore Dimitri. She is extremely fast for her age. I run a five-minute mile. Is she that fast? Much faster. Good luck. Why don't we all just go there at once? You know, splitting up, never a good idea. I mean, you think it's already something that caused Renata to be killed. You head upstairs to find the fuse. Fine, I will do a save, just in case. Let's see here... Spirits get more aggressive in darkness. Think and act swiftly to avoid a confrontation. Find the needed item for the fuse box. To stop searching, click on the icon at the bottom of the screen. No. You opened the box on the bottom. <gasps> you found a dead mouse! It's empty. Curses! You found a dead mouse? Gross. Yes. 
you stop searching the closet. Welcome back. Did you find anything? I found two dead mice. I'm sure somebody here has the scientific knowledge to somehow MacGyver some sort of fuse out of this. Not really. Oh well. See if you can fix the fuse box with what you have, okay? I'm MacGyver? I'll do my best? They were right. The generator has turned silent. Time to get to work. Looks like there's something wrong with the fuse box. Yeah, and it's freaking dark. I can't see. No, I'm recognizing some shapes now. Okay. Spirits get more aggressive in the darkness. If the problem in front of you isn't solved in a timely matter, there will be dire consequences. Uh, yeah, sir. You press the bolt cutters up against the wire, splitting it in half with a satisfying snip. There we go. Nothing happened! I don't know. Wrench? Huh? Hello? Someone there? That wasn't very scary. That was a very uplifting opening for this type of game. I certainly like what it seems to be doing right now. And is there anything more going on? Ooh, four endings. Four ghost attacks? Did I find everything? No? <laughs> the game will not end when attacked. Your story will continue to progress. No frustrating game over screens or roadblocks! Players that encounter spirits will be rewarded with additional story and back character backgrounds. Wishlist or back the kickstart if you enjoyed the demo. Well, it's already on my wishlist, so there's not really much I can do there. Thanks for playing! You're welcome! Like I said, I like where it's going with this. I do feel like the demo is probably basically the beginning of the game, but severely condensed. Because if, uh, if it's even remotely similar to Cooking Companion, that was okay from the beginning, it was a bit weird, you know, your character was a bit in the shadows of what are you and why are you here. And it wasn't until the first official death that things really started to become creepy and horror type. So, I like what's going on. I am definitely going to get the game uh, when it's going to be out. I'm still a bit confused. I might have to double check uh, what I have from the first game to see what actually went down because I kind of dimly remember Potato being the only chompette that still was there. But I'm not sure if that was in one of the alternate playthroughs, so to speak, or an alternate ending or anything like that. I hope you enjoyed playing the demo with me, and I will absolutely play this game when it comes out.